Good morning, everybody. It is bright and early in the morning. If you'll see behind me, our beautiful hummingbird feeders. I just got done filling them up, and I just wanted to tell you guys how you can make your own homemade hummingbird nectar. So you'll see I don't use any red dye in our nectar. The red dye, there's no solid evidence that it is harmful, but it has been known to have side effects on the hummingbirds, such as beak and liver tumors, weak eggshells, and kidney and liver complications. So please don't waste your money on the red dye at the store. What you're gonna to wanna to do is, you can do it on the stove top or you can heat your water in the microwave. You're gonna do one part sugar to four parts water. So I usually do one cup of sugar to four cups of water and then fill my feeders. And you're gonna to wanna to change it out every week. I just had to move this one over here. I had it hanging off the edge of our house and the ants got to it. But this shepherd's hook is taller than me. So the ants did not find this one when it was there. So I figure we'll just put them both there. And when I had them in, the hummingbird was over here actually looking for the feeders. So, it's that easy to make your own hummingbird nectar. And look how cute those feeders are. And I guarantee in minutes, those hummingbirds will be back here looking for their nectar. So like I said, please don't waste your money with a red dye. You can bring your water to a boil, pour your sugar in, stir your sugar to dissolve it, then let it cool and then fill your feeders. Or what I do is I just warm one cup of water then I put my sugar in, mix that up till the sugar's dissolved, and then I add three cups of cold water, and then I just pour it into my feeders, and it lowers that temperature of that hot water, so they're good to go. But that is how you make your own homemade hummingbird nectar. If you want to learn more about birds, I'm a total bird nerd. If you'll see, I have a feeder there. A feeder into the tree. There's two there. There's one outside the fence that needs to be washed. And then one there. And then we have a bunch of suet feeders. <laughs> so I am a total bird nerd. I have a bird group for upstate New York bird watchers that has over 7,000 members, which is insane. Like, I can't believe there's that many bird nerds. Like, I know Homestead people are my people, but bird nerds and bird lovers are also my people <laughs> so i hope that you take advantage of this video and get in the kitchen and make your own hummingbird nectar i promise they will love it if you'll notice also most hummingbird feeders have some color to draw the hummingbirds to it whether it be the blue the pink orange red so that extra dye is just unnecessary altogether. So like I said, steer clear away from the red dye. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you on the next one.